good, beautiful Wednesday morning, friends. I hope you can hear the gentle breeze rustling the leaves behind me. It's a surprisingly, stunningly beautiful Wednesday morning uh, in August. It does not feel like it is an August morning, but it is. And uh, it is good to be gathered again together this way. Um, whether you are joining us on Wednesday morning or later in the day or in the evening or the middle of the night, um, we are glad that we can be together in this way. Um, I'm Reverend Jennifer, who, for those who may not join us every morning, every week. Um, and this is our time in the middle of the week to simply take a pause and all the things are swirling and to take a deep breath, uh, finish your morning coffee if you want. I just finished mine. Uh, and ask, where have we seen God in these days? Where has God shown up for us in these days? And you know, there are times when I know that answer for myself, I think, pretty well, before I get to Wednesday morning. And then there are times when God surprises me. Now, I firmly believe that God, the Holy Spirit, is, uh, is sneaky in the best sense of that word. That sometimes God surprises us in the ways that God shows up for us and for others. And so God surprised me. Last night, God surprised me by showing up in the space between. Now that may sound a little strange, um, but I wonder if we can all understand this. We're doing a lot of being with other people with space between us. So last night I was sitting in this space and I was chatting with someone and uh, we were at least six feet apart, as you can probably see. There was a pretty good space between us and we were wearing masks and we were chatting and, uh, and God showed up in some unexpected ways and surprised both of us, I think, in that space between. I know a lot of us right now feel like we are navigating this space, whether it's the physical space of being at least six feet apart um, whether it is the space of um, sharing these similar experiences but not doing it together. Um, the conversation I was having last night was with somebody that I hadn't really had a long conversation with um, since last spring. And so we sat and we talked about what it was like for each of us, what last Easter was like, what last spring was like, what the summer had been like. And there was a space there, that space of experiences that we hadn't shared together. And we talked about those and God showed up in that space in between. I know some of us are doing a lot of um, things online, Zoom calls and these kind of things. And it can feel like there is an insurmountable space. You know, that space in between the boxes on a Zoom call. But what I discovered, what I remembered, what God reminded me of last night is that God is more than capable of being present in those spaces that feel that distance, that feels insurmountable to us. And it, uh, it reminded me of one of my favorite hymns. And no, I am not going to sing that. I will leave the singing to Scott. You may have noticed that we're moving a few things around during our weekly devotions, but no worries. Scott will be here tomorrow um, singing and sharing music because we know that is powerful. But I wanted you to hear these words. Um, one of my favorite hymns, Abide With Me. And uh, it was written by an Anglican priest. And he had uh, health issues all throughout his life. And near the end of his life, as he was preparing his congregation to, to know that he was not going to be with them and that there was going to be a different kind of space between them, he, uh, he wrote these words, Abide with me, fast falls the eventide, the darkness deepens, Lord with me abide. 
When other helpers fail and comforts flee, help of the helpless, O Lord, abide with me. Swift to its close ebbs out life's little day. Earth's joys grow dim, its glories pass away. Change and decay in all around I see. O thou who changest not, abide with me. Now I know we often think about this hymn as something that we hear at funerals or at a celebration of life. We think about it at the end of life, but I suspect most of us can identify with that line of change and decay all around I see, because it feels like we're living through a lot of change and maybe a lot of decay. I need thy presence every passing hour. What by thy grace can foil thy tempter's power? Who like thyself my guide and strength can be? Through cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. Through cloud and sunshine, Lord, abide with me. What God reminded me of last night in a simple conversation with a distance between us was that God abides in the space between us as we abide with each other, as we are with each other, whatever that looks like in this time. God is with us. God abides with us. God is present. And that is powerful, my friends. It's a powerful reminder. And so my hope and prayer for you in these coming days is that you take that reminder that God is big enough to bridge those spaces between us, to bring us together. One of the ways that we do that, though, is to share our experiences together, to say to other people, hey, this is how I experienced last spring and this summer, and this is how I'm experiencing these months, and here's what I'm worried about and fearful of in the days ahead, or here's where God is bringing me joy. Now, we may be sharing those um, simply with God to begin with in a journal or in a conversation. I sometimes have that conversation in the shower, but there is also power in sharing that with other people, and if you're in a space where you cannot be physically present with other people for whatever reasons. Um, know that there are other ways to share, other ways that God can bridge that space. And if you need a conversation partner, please send a text or an email. Let us know at church. Um, we are happy to either be conversation partners or connect you with folks who can be. Because um, friends, in these days, um, it is good to know that God is in the spaces between and God abides with us. We go into the days ahead in that knowledge and that joy. Have a good day and go in peace, my friends.